So perhaps you're a voiceover talent. Maybe you've done radio and television commercials, or business narration, or even animation. And now you're considering performing audiobooks. Audiobooks are the longest form of narration. They can range from one and two hours to over 10 or 12 hours in length. Before you jump into the ocean of audiobook performance, you should ask yourself, are audiobooks right for me? Hello, I'm William Williams from Aliso Creek VoiceOver Classes. I'm often asked if audiobook narration is a good voiceover category to pursue. Of course, the answer is maybe, maybe not. I can help you answer this question by listing a variety of skills you will need to enhance your success in performing audiobooks. The lack of one or two of these skills won't necessarily restrict you, but if you have most of these skills, you'll find your audiobook narration more fun, more efficient, and more profitable. The first question you should ask yourself is the most obvious question. Do you like reading books? If you find yourself reading a book or two every week, then you obviously have an interest in this kind of material. And you have a familiarity with a kind of writing style that is used in books. If you do read books on a regular basis, what kind of books do you read? Are they fiction or nonfiction? Romance books or adventure books? Are they self-help books or philosophical books? The more experience you have reading books, the more comfortable you will be reading books as a performer. And if you are going to read the book anyway, why not get paid for it? The next question is difficult to answer, but also important. Are you what we call a fluent reader? What is a fluent reader? I have a video on fluent reading that you might want to watch. But a quick description of a fluent reader is someone who can read several pages of a book without making a mistake, while adding in all the inflection, emotions, and character changes that are required to tell the story. Remember when you were in third grade and all of the students had to read out loud? There was always one kid who sounded like Orson Welles or Meryl Streep performing Shakespeare. If you were that kid, or close to it, then audiobooks is right for you. Can you act? Every book has a plot line. Even if it's a book about investing in the stock market or great recipes for a slow cooker. And to perform an audiobook, you'll need to perform these emotions. You need to sound sad, happy, worried, angry, disappointed, relieved, and so on. This is especially true in fiction books. Voice acting is just that acting with your voice. No one can see your expressions or gestures, so they can only experience the emotions by listening for those emotions in your voice. Use your acting skills to tell a great story. Can you do different voices for different characters? In audiobooks, you don't perform extreme characters, but you do have to alter the sound of your voice to match the different characters in the book. If it's an older man, your voice needs to sound older. And if it's a young woman, your voice needs to match that as well. You may also need to do different accents. There may be regional American accents or international accents. The ability to provide a different voice for each character really brings the story to life. Is your breathing quiet? Often when we're performing fast commercials, our breath can come out sharp and loud, and the breaths are edited out later. The breathing style for audiobooks is much different. Remember, the breathing is not removed in an audiobook like it is in a commercial. So breathing is part of the performance, which makes the read sound natural. Since the pacing is slower and more relaxed, 
you have time to quietly breathe between each phrase. But if the breathing is loud, it is annoying. So practice quietly breathing. And finally, do you have experience with specialized vocabulary? Are you familiar with medical vocabulary or computer vocabulary? Have you worked in an industry that has a specialized jargon? For example, maybe you worked in the real estate business and know all the terms that are used when buying or selling a house. This would make reading an audiobook about real estate transactions much easier and more realistic. Draw on the skills you've acquired. As an audiobook narrator, your job is to take the words on the page and bring them to life for the listener. You're not just a narrator, you're also an entertainer. The more of these skills you have, the more you will enjoy audiobook narration and the more entertaining your performance will be. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up to help others find it. And if you're interested in this series on audiobook production, then subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to make sure you're notified when the new videos come out. And for more information on our live virtual classes and our self-paced online classes, and all things voiceover, go to alisocreek.net. I'm William Williams, reminding you, keep talking.